I'm a rheumatologist at HSS and my interest for many, many years has been rheumatoid arthritis and in particular early rheumatoid arthritis. And that's because I think the earlier we diagnose it, identify it and treat it, the better people do. Up until now, we really never looked inside the joint to determine what cells are there, what subtypes are there, how they're interacting with each other, what they're making. We've done a lot of work using some of our registries and looking retrospectively. And one of the things that had become apparent was we really needed to look prospectively and gather our own data to really answer those questions. We set up a consortium across the United States to do synovial biopsies of actively inflamed joints in rheumatoid arthritis. And when we did that, we quickly learned that there are basically four cellular lineages that are acting in the cells. We want to know how to translate that into ways to use the information clinically. And we're just at the beginning of that. We're both learning how to improve clinical outcomes, as well as possibly uh, identifying targets for other therapies. The applications of this sort of collaboration have been extraordinarily far-reaching. I could see in the future that when we have these biopsies or even we, if we take fluid out of the joint, the inflamed fluid, that there will be standard commercial assays that we use that characterize the type or subtype of rheumatoid arthritis and therefore direct a person to use treatment A, B, C, D or E.